be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. vlog. I'm here to clean and we have a problem. <laughs> My is never going to fall down, blind fall down. Now, it didn't come undone. It actually, the 3M, the blind pulled away from the tape. Anyway, I'm going to bring some tacks tomorrow or something to just that back up there. I may do it today if I can find tax here. I'm not even sure if there is any, but sad day. Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. Welcome back. Okay. I feel like every time I try to speak to you, the uh, air conditioning comes on. I'm just cleaning. <laughs> it is not hellfire early like it normally would be uh, when I speak to you. Before I do clients, it is actually 10 a.m. I'm not starting until 11. It's actually quarter to 10. I'm not starting until 11. I came in, I did just a few cleanup things that I didn't film. I actually fixed the blind and had a little chuckle to myself because I did exactly um, what I would normally do, which is hammer nails and just plastered that thing up there. So um, it, it's never coming to, <laughs> it's fine. I'm actually like cleaning my chair. I feel like I don't, I almost feel like I don't do it often enough, but at the same time, how often can you get down on the floor and clean your freaking chair? It's just, me lean against this. I make dust for a living, as we kind of all do in the salon. Even if you do hair, we're still making dust. The hairspray and the little slippers of hair, it's all just, and I mean, we do do hair in the salon, so. It kind of all spreads around, right? I don't know how else to keep this chair clean. Basically, all that's happening right now is I'm just wiping it off with like a wet rag. It's an old towel that I used to use here in the salon. It is just kind of frustrating because I do use my compressed air to try to keep it clean, but it doesn't work. Or it only works for a little bit and then I have to just like get down there and clean it. Anyway, that's my rant. Hey! <laughs> Hi, it is a new day. I don't even have all the lights on yet, but here we are and I found my crumbs, AKA Haley Bieber nails. They've been around so long, they were all in here. But that doesn't mean we can't dig them back out. You know, there's some trends that I don't want to see come again. And there's other trends that you're like, I mean, yeah, okay. Ah, uh, uh, the caps don't stay on these things, right? Like they leak out. I am covered in chrome. I have a couple of white chromes. I'm scared to even open that. That is so, like you can't even see through it. But that's just the way it is, right? With those, oh my God. I really probably just have a bunch of, that one's actually open, that's cool. I really probably actually only have a couple of different colors. Like I have the one I'm wearing, like that sort of like oil spill dark. And then I have some whites, probably a couple of the whites have different tones to them. But I'm not willing to test them all. I mean, that's just a no for me. Uh, these are oil spill flakies, but I'm going to put them in with the chromes. Oh my God, the first chrome I ever bought. I'm not opening that. <laughs> Look at the mess that is in. It's Enel Couture. <sighs> I said I wasn't gonna open it, but um, there's lots in it. Of course there is. 
um, hold please. It's gonna be everywhere. Two more whites. Oh, this was from socialclaws.com and it's called Eclipse. Oh my gosh, does that place still exist? Do you guys know? Is that still a thing? I bought that. This is it as well? Oh my goodness. I think this is it as well. It's a smaller jar. I bought that ages ago. It's a, oh my gosh, what was it? A chrome uh, was heat sensitive. Does that sound right? I would look it up, but. Also have the CND pigment in pink, in orange, and in yellow. So am I gonna use any of these? Sure hope so at this rate. I have the uh, green gold sparkle pigment um, in the CND as well. I'm gonna throw out the pink, the gold, and the, I don't even know what that, no, I'm not gonna throw them out all the time. Anyway. I am going to have to go through these. I'm throwing out the large bag that it all came in. Some applicators, like eyeshadow applicators. Always helpful. And then just a whole bunch of chrome. I essentially have, oh my gosh. Something has, yeah, got to be open. Oh, they're all open, how cool. Why can these be in jars that don't open? We don't know. That social clause stuff, I remember that being like, maybe not so cute. Ah, I need to, I'll put it in because because I need to look that up. I can't remember. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find anything. I don't even know how to shut the camera off. I gotta rock my hands. See you later. Good morning, quarter to seven. Right? No, it's 10 to 7 in the morning. So I'm waiting for my first client. She's coming at 7. But a little a Chrome update for you. It's still everywhere. <laughs> if you've ever spilled Chrome, you know that it doesn't wipe off. It kind of just, it's such a small particle, it kind of just melts into whatever surface it's on. I mean, it's even on my metal garbage can top and I've wiped it. So we're chroming. We're just chroming. That's what we're doing. Okay guys, so before we go, I just wanted to touch base on a little bit of a tutorial. So I've been doing some nail art, don't mind the mess. So I wanna talk about doing the glazed nails, the Hailey Bieber nails, or the chrome nails, whatever you're calling them, with specifically the Glitter Bells Unbelievable Gel. I here have cream cake, so it's not white, it's like a warm white, it's not a bright white. And this is what we're going to use it over today. Obviously you can use it over any gel polish, but I wanted to talk specifically about the Unbelievable Gels. For my chrome, I am using the Wildflowers, it's called the Gold Effect. You can do, of course, whichever one you want, they have purpley tones to them or whatever, I have a lot of them. Some of them work, of course, better than others. Some of them I haven't even used. Actually, I've just changed my mind. Let's use this. I don't even know what it is. It says it's number eight. Looks pretty, I haven't used it yet, so this will be as fresh to me as it is to you. I'm not sure why I love changing my mind mid tutorial, but it does add a little fun. Okay, I did get out a piece of paper towel because as you guys know, if you've used this, it makes such a mess. I have a, I believe this is a Gel X tip that I've put on the end here. These stands, I will double check, but these stands should be in my Amazon store link down below. So I do have an affiliate page, which means I do get a small commission if you purchase, cleaning the blue out of my brush. So again, we're just going to do one coat of cream cake. It doesn't need to be two coats because it doesn't, you know, we're doing this on a tip. And this stuff covers really well. So if you haven't used the Unbelievable Gel yet they do cover very very well so I'm gonna do one coat of that get it on nice and evenly so that I don't have to do a second coat and I'm going to put it in the light I'm only going to put it in for 30 seconds that is kind of the trick it needs to go in for a shorter amount of time I'm going to put the cover back on my unbelievable gel and I'm going to put my brush away because once again this is messy like, I'm going to use an eyeshadow applicator. This one is used because I used it to do my own nails with a different chrome color, but there is one of the applicators that is still fresh. You can kind of get them anywhere. You can get them at 
your local drugstore. You can get them through the supply stores. Potentially, it's cured. I mean, I like to cure my clients no matter what for at least 60 seconds, if not twice. If I'm working on one hand and the other one is still in the light and it shuts off, start it again. I am an over cure girl. There's right and wrong there, but that is what I do. I've done this for 30 seconds only. You don't wanna over cure this. It is a no wipe, so it is going to be uh, not, there's no dispersion foam. So I'm just taking my applicator and pushing it into the product. It doesn't so much look like there's a lot on the brush, but trust the process. You might have to come back in to the product again, but we'll see, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I am just going to rub that on, just gently rubbing it on. I generally start on one side, I go up around. When it starts to get so that you feel like you're getting more friction on the brush, that's when I go in for more product. Because sometimes that product underneath isn't 100% cured, you don't wanna be pulling at that with a dry brush because then you're going to ripple it. And my brush is a little less spongy than what some of them are, so it's not quite picking up as much, but that's okay. Coming down to the end. I am going to take what I've brought in, which is a makeup brush. It is a nice, fluffy makeup brush. I received this in a BoxyCharm when I was still doing BoxyCharm. I'm going to take this and just lightly take the excess off because if you leave the excess on there, it can sometimes get gritty on the nail. So this is what we have. I'm sure the camera isn't quite picking up how pretty it is, but that's it. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to put this back in the light because it only went through for 30. I'm going to put it back in through for another 30. So let's talk top coat. I have the Glitter Bells No Wipe from the Nail Throne. There is a discount code down below and a link to the store. And I am really gonna float this. I don't wanna drag it because again, I have put something on that nail. So I am going to just float my application on there, trying to make sure all the while I have a fair amount on my brush, getting everywhere and then back in. So the idea here is that you're going to get two coats of top coat but there's something you need to do first. You're going to take your file. I know this is an old file, but this is the one, this is my file. This is the one I use on myself. It's about due for the garbage can. And you are going to just break the seal on the edges of that nail, where it is going to get the wear and tear. You're gonna clean it up, dust again, I consciously try not to make too much mess. And then top coat again, this time very much sealing your end because you don't want that to be chippy as chromes often are. So first I'm going to do the nail, then I'm going to come in and make sure that my ends are capped. And we're all done, finished product. So I hope that helped anybody that's been maybe struggling with those nails or that was curious about using them with the Glitter Bells Unbelievable Gels. Again, the link is down below to the Nail Throne and there is a discount code there for you to use. Thanks for watching, I hope you subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions and I will definitely get back to you. Have a great day.